Okay, so I want to show you how a condenser works um, because they're quite difficult to understand, I think, until you've actually handled one and had a really good look at it. I've got it um, clamped in here in a strange orientation because I want to show you something. Um, it's actually made of a glass tube that goes right down the centre of it with another glass tube around the outside. So I'm just going to get um, you to have a look right down the end so you can see there really is a tube there. Okay. And now I'm going to squirt some coloured water into the section that I would normally put water from the tap. And then we're going to have a look down the end again so that you can see that none of this red water actually ends up in the tube inside. You can still see down the tube and see that there's no water in there. And hopefully that will help you appreciate that you end up with this sort of tube surrounded by a layer of water. There. Perhaps have a look around the end now while I'm squirting water into it. Okay, so you can see there's really definitely um, these two separate systems. There's the red water that's going around the outside and there's this empty tube down the middle. Now we're going to use that, um, one of these condensers in a moment, in a distillation and I'll um, show you it in action and you can appreciate how it works better. Okay, so in the uh, round bottom flask here, I've um, put the mixture of alcohol and water that I made from my fermentation experiment. So it's been filtered and in there I'm expecting that I've got quite a dilute solution of alcohol and water and I'm going to distill it in order to try to get just the pure alcohol. And you can see I've got the condenser here set up in the correct orientation. So it's attached to um, all this uh, system of glassware and I've got these hoses attached to it as well. Now I have to be really careful about which way round I attach them. The water always goes in at the bottom of the condenser here so you can see this hose is attached to the tap and the water comes out at the top of the condenser here. And this hose is empty and that's just going to point down the plug hole. So I'm going to turn the tap on very gently so you can see the condenser filling with water. But exactly as that example with the red water in the condenser I showed you a moment ago, um, the water will be around the outside and there'll still be a completely clear empty tube down here. Um, so that when I start distilling my mixture, any vapour that goes in there will be able to travel down that tube. It will encounter coldness because... Um, because of the cold water going around the outside of it. Hopefully the vapour then should condense, and that's why it's called a condenser, and change back to a liquid and drip out of the end. So I'll turn the tap on really gently, and you can see that condenser fill. There we are, look. Right, now really I want to get that bubble out of there. I'm just going to fiddle around with this for a minute, minute and get that bubble out of there. I'll join you again in a moment when I've got it set up and clear. So the air bubble's now gone from the top of the condenser there. And so I've got a really nice cold inner tube with all this water forming a kind of jacket around my condenser in order that any vapour that gets in there can turn, to a turn back to a liquid again. Now the idea is that I heat this mixture of alcohol and water, ethanol and water, in here. And the temperature of it's going to increase, as we'd expect. And when we get to the boiling point of ethanol, which is 78 degrees C, it will look as though the whole mixture is boiling, but it will actually only be the ethanol component of it that's boiling, which means the ethanol will be slowly changing from a liquid to a gas, and the vapour will come up here around the bulb of my thermometer and then travel down this system, down the condenser, where hopefully it will change back to a liquid again and drip out of the end of the tube. And I'll be able to use my thermometer to check that the vapour is at 78 degrees C. Now, if the, temp if the temperature on my thermometer goes much above that, then I'll know that some water vapour is starting to mix in with it, because obviously water vapour starts to appear at 100 degrees C, and sometimes a little bit before that. So um, what I really want is to try to keep the temperature here nice and low, around the boiling point of ethanol, so that I can be sure that anything that's coming over my system and collecting in my flask at the end is really just pure ethanol. So let's start heating it and we'll see how we go. Okay, so you can see little bubbles forming in the mixture already. I 
and you can see that it's just starting to boil. That's only the ethanol component that's boiling. You know, you may also be able to see there's a lot of liquid now formed up in here from the vapour and it's starting to drip off the bottom of the thermometer. So I want to carry on heating this in a really nice controlled way so it doesn't get too hot. And you can see that my temperature on my thermometer is going up now, it's on 75 I think. Yeah, it's almost up to exactly the right temperature. So I want to keep that at 78, like I said, in order to make sure I'm just getting ethanol um, boiling over. And it will effectively separate my ethanol from my water that's in here. Now, if you look over at the flask at the other end here, you can see that there are drips of ethanol coming out of it. And we call that um, substance that we collect there the distillate. So it's the product of distillation. So I've been a bit enthusiastic with my heating. It's creeping up to 80 now, so I just need to be a little more gentle with it. And the point when it looks like it's no longer boiling, below 80, that will be the point that I shall suspect I've boiled off all my ethanol and I'll be left with pure water in the um, flask here. I think we're probably getting close to that point right now. And what I can do then is to take my ethanol distillate and I could carry out some tests on it to prove that I've genuinely got ethanol in there. 